Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do. I'm going to start with this one. I think I'll do separate videos for them so they don't get too long. Um, this is from my good buddy, Colin Mason-Pierre. He also happens to be my partner on Devo Knives. Guys, we are getting close to actually having tangible proof of Devo knives existing. <laughs> At this point, uh, by the time you watch this, I should have already showed off prototypes. Hopefully, they're up to my you know standards and I can show them off from QSP. Anyway, Colin and I are working, or yeah, we are working on a slip joint project. And that design we wanted to do through Best Tech. We talked to Best Tech about it because um, we know some people who have used them and uh, there are some slip joints that are on the market that are made by Best Tech. This is one of them. This is the Giant Mouse Farley, which is funny because the name we came up with for the slip joint, I don't know if that name will stick, was the Barley because we name everything after beer-related things. And uh, it's kind of funny because then they came out with the Farley like, you know, a week later or something um, after we named it. It was a different timeline than that, but we didn't know this existed. I'm going to unbox it with a slip joint. This is the uh, Tactile Turn uh, Bear slip joint in Magna Cut. I'm absolutely loving this. Still need to do a full review on this at some point, but I'm just enjoying carrying it. So, let's see. We have the box... Uh, we have some penis. I don't think he would have put anything else in there, so we are good. And again, this is the Farley in brass. Uh, he got the brass one. Beesh. So I'm not a fan of brass on knives just because it adds weight. Um, it's kind of like a warranty card here. So real quick, uh, before I get into it, so anybody who skips ahead or whatever, this is for sale. So Colin is going to let this go. So if you're interested and, uh, you know, it hasn't sold by the time this video drops, um, definitely hit up Colin Mason Pierre. You can hit him up on Instagram at CM underscore, uh, knife designs. I'm sure you can find him that way. You can always hit me up and I'll let you know. But I'll put his Instagram in the description so you can hit him up if you want. Uh, and uh, you can always message me if you don't have Instagram. We can figure it out. So, Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The action is good. The walk and the talking. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Now, I got to say, it is pretty stiff on the pull. Uh, the initial pull here is probably, you know, you have this nail nick on both sides, but I kind of wish it was down here, you know. Um, but it, when you do get it, I'd say it's probably ooh, a seven. You know, it's not impossible now that I'm used to it. Bang. I, I'd call it a seven. Uh, and then from here, boom, just feels excellent. Um I gotta say, it kind of has the vibes of a lion steel slip joint, which is good, right? Uh, those, I think, are very well done. And that would make sense, because I'm sure uh, Jens Anso or Voxnes has done a slip joint with um, lion steel, so they probably have CAD files or whatever, so they could kind of match it and make the action similar. Uh, awesome. I really dig that action, for sure. Um, it has... Very nice belt satin. Look at that. Not quite like Riot level. Uh, it just doesn't show as much as a Riot belt satin. Let me see if I can show you. Here's my uh, cuff version two. You can see the grind lines. They just stand out. Um, it does fingerprint though. You can see that. On this, it's not quite as, you know, you can't see those grind lines as much. But it's still very well done. Uh, Best Tech is really stepping up their game. Now, we know that they're like a middleman, but uh, whoever they're using for certain things, they're really dialing it in. Um, they have a crown spine here on the slip joint. I believe these were like 
140 bucks or 150 bucks, something like that. They weren't outrageously expensive. Um, and, you know, Giant Mouse can afford to do that because they probably had a ton of these made, right? Um, they also used brass, and I don't know if they did micarta, I think. I don't think they did titanium, so that saves you a few shekels. They do have a wire clip on here, uh, which, you know, for me, a slip joint is not meant to be carried with a clip. Um, and that's where my rub with slip joints really comes in. Centering's a little bit off, but it's eh, eh, it's pretty damn good, honestly. You got a pivot there. Uh, it's actually captured or it's tooled on one side, which is cool. Reversible wire clip. That is cool. Uh, not that the, you know, it's not going to open in your pocket, so it's not really a big deal anyway. But um, just to show you some other slip joints I have, I have the Serge Panchenko uh, Leaf, which I really enjoy the action on this one. This is probably my favorite slip joint action that I've handled or owned. Uh, it's really tiny, but I absolutely love it. I love a half stop. You gotta have a half stop. Then we have the uh, bear here. Bit of a lighter pull on both of these, this one and this one. I'd give this one like, you know, a five maybe. Action is really good though, or the walk and talk. They've dialed it in. The original one I had, I had to get it replaced, if you recall. Um, that one was not as good. It was still good, but this one, I haven't adjusted at all. It's just really breaking in nicely. No, no play side to side. You have a little bit of center in it. You know, it's a little bit off, but I mean, such a thin knife. Now, that's my thing with slip joints, guys. Uh, these two right here are ultra thin, right? And that's what I love in a slip joint. I don't understand why this one has a clip. This would be perfect without a clip, but it does fit in your fifth pocket very well. Um, so when I went to uh, draw up a slip joint, like I said with Colin, uh, we wanted it to be super thin like this because this disappears in your pocket. And that's what I kind of think of as a slip joint. You put it in a slip like this and it just disappears, right? But this one here is, you know, it's thicker than the uh, knife and the sheath or slip together. Look at that. Hard for you to see where the, there you go. See that? It's about the same, I guess, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, you know, and that's not ideal for me, uh, which by the way, guys, quick plug for Lancelot leather. If you need any clip slips or slips made contact Joe, uh, he made this for me custom for this. I, I picked the leather color and the stitching and it literally is perfect. I could not have asked for a better slip for this knife. Um, it sits in there perfectly. The lanyard comes out just a little bit and I can pull it out. Um, you also have these flaps right here if you want to go that route. It sits just perfectly in there. Um, he's made a few of these now. So if you have a bear, reach out to him. If you want a slip for this or if you want a clip slip for something, he can uh, make that happen for you even for the Farley, right? Um, so just a thought there. Uh, but anyway, let me grab the calipers and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the way we designed our slip joint was to be 0.27 thick and, and that could change you know but um this one here is 0.29 or let's say 0 0.30 okay that's really thin when you think of your average uh folding knife is like 0.5 right like here's the gung near 0.55 down here um it's around 0.6 up here you know a more standard one here's a mini tempest from sharp by design you're looking at 0.52 right so that's your standard. Uh, on this, you're looking at 0.35 up here. Now, it is contoured on the scale. So, if I go down the scale, I'm at 0.39. So, we call it 0.4 roughly. And here's the uh, bear. And this is what I love about the bear is it's roughly 0.27. Um, you wonder where I got that measurement for ours, right? Um, I wholeheartedly will say inspiration came from this knife. I wouldn't even have thought of doing a slip joint if it wasn't for this knife. So big shout out to Tactile Knife Co. Anyway, this isn't about, you know, my knife or anything or our knife. 
but it is because that's the reason he bought the Farley. Um, he bought the Farley because he wanted to get an idea of the quality of a best tech slip joint. So that was the idea there. And, um, I think I am very impressed. I think it's very well made. Uh, the ergonomics are comfortable in hand. See that fits my hand pretty well. I have a large glove size hand. So, you know, a medium or small hand is going to fit this a little better, but I can wrap my hand around it. You get a good little landing spot here. Now, remember it's a slip joint, so you don't want to go crazy, but it does have a pretty strong spring. Um, like I said, the pull was like a seven ish. Um, so you do have a little bit of tension here. Uh, when you're going through cuts, you just don't want to put downward pressure on it. I like the crown spine. I like the nail neck, uh, on both sides. I do wish it was a little more aggressive or farther down where you could grab it. Uh, I do like the blade shape. It's basically a spear point. Um, which would work pretty well for my tasks, like shipping labels and stuff. Um, I prefer a sheep's foot, which is why ours is a sheep's foot. Um, but yeah, the clip and everything, it's cool. It's just, it, it, for me, it doesn't make sense because it's a slip joint. I want it to be thin and I want it to be no clip, right? And I want it to be light. So this kind of negates a few of those things. It's not thick by any means. And I probably would be fine if it was in my pocket if I had a lighter one like the Micarta one. And if you're in a country or a place where you can't have locking knives or you just like slip joints, I do like the idea of the clip. Uh, I just wish there was an easy way to like just take it off. I guess you could just have both sides look like this. That would work. Um, so yeah, it would work, but I would have just went no clip. So that's the Ace Farley, guys, from uh, Giant Mouse Knives. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a follow-up of, of any kind. Um, and like I said, this is for sale from Colin. Uh, I would assume he would want, you know, just a little bit less than retail. So you can um, figure that number out. I didn't check the pricing or anything. Uh, but, you know, knock 10 or 20 bucks off retail. And uh, I'm sure you could buy this off him. So... Uh, hit me up if you're interested. I'll let you guys know if it's gone by the time this posts. So um, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about the Ace Farley. Definitely wanted to have this on the channel to show off and get a feel for a Best Tech slip joint. I don't know if I'll do any type of follow-up, though, on it. Um, I'm just not going to carry this or, or really use it much. Uh, not enough to give you an idea. And, um, you know, the information I just gave you is basically enough so keep in mind i've never cut with this i've never carried this so this is not a review of any sort um we could maybe call it an overview just giving you an idea so there you go i love you guys so much i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day oh this is m390 by the way and i will catch you later